Hi everyone, welcome to this exercise of unit 5. In this short exercise, we will calculate the key indicators of the water resources situation for our river basin in Ethiopia. A CSV file is provided in the data folder which contains the data needed to produce the resource base sheet. If you remember from the previous exercise on calculating rainfall and incremental evapotranspiration, per water accounting land use categories. The final output of the, that exercise was a data frame which contains columns of precipitation, evapotranspiration, rainfall, and incremental evapotranspiration per different water accounting plus land use categories. This SCV file is also produced the same way as in the exercise. The only difference is that this CCV file is for our river basin and contains data for 10 years starting from 2009 to 2018. While the previous, in the previous exercise, the data was for Litani River Basin and only for the year 2016. This exercise is very easy. You may do this exercise in Excel if you wish. But here we do it in pandas, because pandas is much easier and fun. The steps are very simple. Read the CSV file and calculate the key indicators based on the formula discussed in the video lecture. We start first by importing the required package. And here we have a data frame, uh, sorry, a function to calculate the key indicators. Landscape ET is the evapotranspiration, which is the sum of the green evapotranspiration of all water accounting plus land use categories, plus the blue evapotranspiration of all water accounting plus land use categories except the managed water use. ET fraction is expressed as the actual evapotranspiration as a percentage of total inflow. Stationarity index is the change in storage as a percentage of the actual evapotranspiration. And the basin closure is the consumed water as a percentage of the total inflow. Available water is the total inflow minus landscape evapotranspiration plus change in storage in the basin. Managed water is the blue evapotranspiration of managed water use land use. And managed fraction is the managed water as a percentage of the available water. The rest is to format the output data frame so we read the ccv file which is in the data folder and we inspect the ccv file we read as sheet one as you can see which contains data for the years from 2009 to 2018 as a precipitation, actual evapotranspiration, green and blue component of evapotranspiration, and the breakdown of the green and blue evapotranspirations per water accounting land use categories. We have also outflow as a form of surface outflow because our river basin is a closed basin, there is no known surface outflow but there is outflow from the basin uh, as groundwater outflow and the change in storage calculated from the water balance approach and as you can see the numbers are very large numbers because the values in the CV, ccv file are given in thousands of cubic meter per year so we can convert the unit to cubic kilometer per year by dividing its numbers by a million 
and we do that here and we sum up the outflow as the surface outflow plus the ground outflow here once we run this the remaining step is to calculate the key indicators we calculate the key indicators by calling the function passing the sheet one data and after running we can inspect the key indicators so these are the key indicators for the Awashi River Basin for the year 2009 to 2018 derived based on water accounting analysis using vapor data this is all about the exercise to calculate key indicators i hope you will manage to run this notebook script by yourself and inspect the result thank you very much for your attention and goodbye